That's right. That's right. Yeah, it was 71 that I saw uh, Phil Lynott. I was very impressed with his playing and I went, I want to play with this guy. He's on bass, I play guitar and we'll get Pacey on drums. Pacey was up for it. And then I think Pacey started thinking, we've got a really big band with Deep Purple. You know, we're doing so well. Why throw it away? You know, and I really wanted to leave the band because uh, I didn't like the politics within the band anymore. It started getting a little bit kind of business-like, very staid and kind of, it wasn't going anywhere, very contrived. And uh, Phil had all this energy and uh, I thought this could be very interesting. So we did a couple of tracks with him in the studio, but we didn't never finish them. And uh, Phil was up for it, very nice guy, it's great. Um, but then Pacey said, you know what, I think it's probably a bad idea that we leave the purple name and then go to this situation and start again. You know, although Phil's great, how would it be? I said, well, I, and I, at that point I was saying, I don't want to stay in the band. And he said, well, why not? I said, well, mainly because of, you know, you've got Ian, who I can't get along with, and Roger doesn't do anything for me. You know. And he said, well, what about if we uh, got rid of them, got new, new bass player and new singer? I said, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that to Roger. I don't want to just throw him out. He's done nothing wrong. Mm. And uh, Pacey said, hey, if that's the way it's got to be, that's the way it's got to be. So Pacey said, well, you know, let's uh, change it. And we started looking for other people. We found Glenn Hughes and David Coverdale.